From San Francisco to New York, visitors flock to Chinatown for food and souvenirs. But the Chinatowns in major U.S. cities these days are mainly for the tourists, says the acting director of the Chinese American Museum in Los Angeles, Steve Wong. And so you have gift shops, you have, uh, you have Chinese food, um, which is catering towards American taste. And I don't even call it Chinese food, I, I think it's very American. But at one time, Chinatown was the only place where Chinese immigrants could live. The first Chinese immigrants arrived from southern China in the mid-1800s to look for gold and as laborers. Then in 1882, the U.S. banned Chinese immigration. Hostility towards the Chinese led to the creation of Chinatowns. Without being able to bring in families and women, they weren't really able to develop their communities. Uh, so they had to turn uh, to the outside and begin uh, economy uh, or create an economy based on tourism. 73-year-old Fred Wong lived and worked in the Los Angeles Chinatown for 15 years. He came to the U.S. when he was 10 after the immigration ban ended. He did not come with his biological parents. We were six of us, and it's very hard for my parents. So he sold one, and he sold, I was a second son, he, she sold. Wang says it is mainly elderly Chinese who live in L.A.'s Chinatown, since most Chinese immigrants now live in the suburbs. In the last three decades, Chinese immigrants from Taiwan and then mainland China arrived as students and then stayed in the U.S., says the University of Southern California Los Angeles professor Min Zhou. They want to buy or rent houses rather than live in apartment, and they also want to find uh, good school districts. So, so Chinatown is not uh, attractive to them. Guo Huang from Xi'an, China, owns a restaurant in a Chinese suburb east of Los Angeles. Like many of the immigrants here, he bought a house with a two-car garage. In China, skyscrapers are everywhere. The United States doesn't have that many skyscrapers. They're more single-family homes. While many Chinese immigrants are finding success in the United States, Steve Wong says as many as 750,000 undocumented Chinese immigrants also live here. They are waiting to see if lawmakers will reform immigration laws. Min Zhou says the illegal immigration problem in the United States will continue because immigrants will continue to want a better life for themselves and their children. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.